Good morning, YouTube. So we've been sitting here two and a half hours waiting to uh, pick up this load. So the, uh, I was told that I had an eight, well, I requested an 8 a.m. appointment. And um, I arrived at 7.30 to get loaded. So apparently there was no appointment time. It was just first come, first serve. And so it is now going on 10.30 and they're just now giving us a dock. If you watched uh, yesterday's video, you know I tried to pick this load up yesterday and they told me they don't load early. So they said get into dock 91. Ooh. It's just been a chill day. Been hanging out in the truck all day, just waiting to get loaded. So I got here. Well, first I went over to Walmart did a little shopping. Got some really good sleep. Really, really, really good sleep. I think I went to bed at like 7, 7.30 last night. And then got up at about 6, 6.30 this morning. So I got some really, you hear my voice is starting to come back <laughs> a little bit. I got some much needed sleep. Just turned my phone off and just and I uh, got some quality sleep. It's been all day, been back there on a sleeper. Got some editing done and all kinds of stuff, so. But today is Friday, I think it's December 6th. As soon as we get loaded, we're going to be going to, uh, going home for the weekend, doing our 34, bring it, I'll bring it home. We're picking up our usual Port Allen load Baton Rouge, it's going down to Laredo. I had another driver on this, but they had to come off of it due to their truck going to the shop. And so I said, hey, I'll grab it. I attempted to grab this load yesterday. That way I could uh, get an extra night in at home, but it didn't work out like that. It is freezing out there. This wind is not making it any better. But one thing about the wintertime that's cool is I have a bunk heater in my truck. And so um, I don't have to idle. I can just turn that bad boy on. It's almost like an, e an APU to where only the bunk heater comes on. I don't have to idle. Y'all know usually in the summertime I'll idle to have AC. But all right. I'm trying to get in here and navigate through this thing. There we go, we're lined up perfect. Is that enough space right there? I think we're good. All right. So I'm gonna open these doors so we can go on, go on with our day. All right, cool. All right, y'all roll that intro. Hopefully, we can get out of here sooner than later.
All right, we are loaded and heading home. So for my ETA is 3.35 p.m. It'll probably be close to like 4, 4.15. Probably gonna hit the outskirts of Houston traffic. Cause I parked probably about eh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes outside of Houston. So we have to somewhat, we don't, we don't have to go through Houston, but the little part that we do have to go through is usually traffic. Can I make this light? Yep, all right, cool. But to the right, that's where we parked last night at this King of the Road, LA1 South truck stop here is where I usually park. We're about to get on the uh, infamous Baton Rouge Bridge. I'm glad we can get out of here before all this is backed up. Whoa, whoa, slow this down. All right. Are you on cut? Are you on, what you gonna do? If you gonna get in front of me, you better go, okay. I'm not slowing down. Now, do I need to get over or is this lane gonna be okay? I think we'll be okay in this lane. Cause usually the right lane backs up first cause the eastbound entrance is first and then the westbound entrance. Oh man, should I have cut over to the left lane? I'm looking ahead at the bridge and I don't see a long line trying to get on. But usually I'll be in that left lane, bypass this traffic and then jump on a ramp. Now I got a feeling right there at the entrance is gonna be backed up. Let's see. No, I think we're okay. Okay, this truck is just moving slow. That's what it is. Okay, all right. And according to GPS, there might be a little traffic in Lake Charles. Let's see, there's the first entrance to the bridge. Going east, we're going west. So usually I'll drive that left lane all the way down to right here. And then we're not going to the port, so we don't need to go that way. Some pep in our step. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think this is oversized low talking that we hear him in his pilot car. Are they in the left lane or yeah? So we're gonna be chugging along behind them, I guess. Missed them by a couple of seconds. Yep. It's fine, we're in no rush. That was a nice peak too. But all right. So to get some better antennas on this truck so I can get better better range. They're moving pretty quick. But guys you're probably here because you are interested in the update on the Freightliner Classic that we're adding to the channel. We're adding to the fleet, whatever you want to say. So, uh, I talked to Mr. Robert uh, two days ago, 
when I was leaving Memphis. Because I was, it was weird. I was saying I need to call him just to say what's up. And because uh, I seen that Blue Classic where I got the drone footage of me at the, um, in Memphis. That was a Blue Classic, like a couple of docks to my left. And I was like, oh, I need to call him and say, you know, see what's up. And uh, I said, okay, I'll call him when I get ready to leave here. As soon as I put the truck in drive, you know, pushed in my air, my air knobs, he had called me. And I was like, oh, wow, look at that. Like, as soon as I was pushing him in, boom. I was like, oh, I ain't think that's something. So we talked for a few hours. And as soon as I hung up the phone from him is when I had my uh, purge valve issue when I was stuck on the side of the road. Like, as soon as I hung up from him, is when I uh, noticed my um, my air gauge is dropping. But anyway, so um, those land star. So y'all are probably wondering what's going on and what's up. So the update is um, he has parked the truck officially. Originally, it probably wasn't going to be until later in December. But due to all the weather conditions and everything going on, he doesn't want to risk driving the truck. And you know, something happening. You know, in the meantime. And so, um, he said, hey, the truck is sitting here, it's waiting on you, come get it whenever you want to. So I told him we'll probably still stick with the original plan of me coming out there, uh, probably towards the end of January. That way, um, I can get everything situated with the FLD because at any day now, I'm going to get the phone call to say, come pick it up. So I want to get everything situated with the FLD. I want to go down there, grab it from the paint body shop. And then I at least want to go drop it off to Florida's Finest Customs and preferably pick it up from Florida's Finest Customs. That way I have it back, you know, truck is situated. After we're done with the FLD, then I want to go out there and get the classic. That would be my, I, I just really don't want to deal with the two trucks at once, in all honesty. With the back and forth and missing out on work and all that. So I'd rather have everything situated with the FLD, or when I drop off the FLD in Florida, the Florida's Finest Customs, fly from Florida, fly out to Jersey to go get the Classic. So... Must be somebody in the shoulder. Yeah, I got you covered on your left side if you need me to. I'm the truck driver behind you. Oh yeah, you got people, yeah. Get the pass. It coming up on your left.
we did that. So yeah guys. Yeah, I just had one blown up. 18 up, Johnny got two up back to back. One blown tire, yes. Yeah. Okay. Alright, they got a tire blown out. And we got another one up ahead. Oh man. But yeah, guys, so that is the update. Uh, Blue Classic is still coming soon. I know some of y'all have been asking. Some of y'all have been skeptical. And then I'm still arranging for our driver who we have lined up for this truck. I did mention in the last video that I do have another truck, possibly, that I will be adding to a fleet, adding to the fleet. It is a 13-speed transmission. Uh, it will purely be a company truck, not for lease purchase, not for sale. It will only be a um, a company truck. So, preferably if you live in Houston, Texas, or like Houston, uh, Texas, or Houston, preferably, or the state of Texas, or like Louisiana, or somewhere in that vicinity, uh, let me know uh, Like I said it would not be for sale not for lease purchase uh, Just purely a company truck it is a 13 speed manual uh, It won't be for like another month or two maybe two months or so before But if you're interested shoot me an email my email is down there in the description below But uh, so yeah the blue classic Uh I, I will be using that one as my daily driver. Uh, the FLD is going to be a uh, a content truck just for YouTube purposes. As my backup truck, nobody's going to drive the FLD but me. Nobody's going to drive the Classic but me. Uh, it's just purely going to be either a content truck or. Uh, a backup truck with an FLDB so um, but yeah we do have more plans that we want to do to the F FLD once we get it back give me block his left side for him that big truck come out. hey am I clear the pass or y'all need me to hold off y'all need me to uh, pet hold up or uh, pass on through come on back now. come on hold on we're good. come on 10-4, appreciate it. Okay, I think he's the one with the blown tire. I can hear the debris. Oh, Bennett. Bennett, okay. Hey, y'all got one on the shoulder up here. Hey, y'all got one on the shoulder right here at the, at the curve.
right, guys. So yeah, that is the update. So you should all get to see some behind the scenes on the CB. Um, so yeah, that's an update. That's what we got going on with the Classic. So it should be here at the end of January. Is this hopper bottom gonna pass me up or what? Who is that, volume or TSD? Oh, it's volume, okay. Yeah, I used to pull a hopper bottom for TSD for a little bit, they're uh, competitive, they're competitors. Now hopper bottoms look just like that. Y'all see a glimpse of it on the, uh, on the intro. Those suckers are hard to turn with the, uh, the, the tandems being way back to the back. You gotta really turn wide on them things. But anyway, guys, let's get some miles in. Let's go. 
All right, I had to stop out here in Orange, Texas to get something to eat. I'm not eating all day, so I had to get something, something to eat. But let's get out of the way, put everybody's way. Yeah, it's getting crowded up here. All right, it's Shelly and Wendy. Oh, they're so good. I've been eating all day. Now I've been struggling. I got a headache on the way. But, um, so yeah. Just wanted to give you all that update on the, uh, on the Classic and the FLD. Uh, so the FLD, I'm sorry. The Classic is still coming. It's still on its way here. It's just that we're waiting on the, um, what is going on over here, man? Got these two getting into it. I don't know why he was going out that way. So this Schneider truck is waiting in line, I guess, to go to the scale. And then this idiot, the one that was behind me, driving behind me, uh, instead of going out the exit, which is that way, goes around that way where everybody's coming in. But anyway. So yeah, the classic is on the way. It's just that the previous owner, we were waiting on him to retire. And now that he's officially retired, the truck is now up for grabs. Um, he was waiting on, um, uh, so he was going to go on one more trip with the truck, but due to the weather and everything, he don't want to, he don't want to, want to put up with it, so. Uh. Why are you going out this way too, stupid? Are you parking right there? Dude, I don't know why you're facing that way. Everybody's... Anyway, let's get out of here before I... Yeah. So we're going to head on to the yard. I'm going to have the uh, wife and kids meet me there to pick me up since I got to work on a ram this weekend um, and take care of all the bushings and everything on there, tie rod in on... I'm going to go to the brakes, rotors, and everything. So let's get on down here to the yard, y'all.
living in my wildest dreams. Oh, yeah. Wife and kids are not here yet. They're on their way. I'm going to go thoroughly through this truck. Y'all know at the end of the week, I thoroughly go through everything, um, make sure everything is squared away for the following week. And then when I start off my next week, I do a super, 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 super thorough pre-trip at the beginning of the week. Not just your mandatory 15 minute pre-trip, but I do go through it thoroughly just because I want to make sure that we're ending on a good note. So if it needs anything, I can get it done either later today or over the weekend sometime. And then, uh, of course, starting off the week, we want to make sure everything's good, period. But uh, I am probably going to come work on this purge valve tomorrow and see what's going on with the uh, air dryer. I'm probably going to go ahead and replace the air dryer cartridge, the filter. And uh, just, just to be safe with the winter time coming up. So anyway, let me go through this truck and uh, get on to the house. So I'm gonna show you. So let's get another one, right? So we're gonna fill it. And I like the meaty. I don't like those little skinny, what was that girl saying? Was, That's was that? what she said. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, we want we want thickies. And so you don't wanna over <laughs> like this. <laughs> All right. And so you're just gonna go around like this. Yeah. So this is the best one. That. But it's okay, it'll still work out. Okay, so that's probably me. And so you're gonna do that, and you're just gonna kind of go around. Mm -hmm. And you'll tell me what to do, Miss. Yeah. Chef, Chef Genesis. Oh my god. This is the last one, okay? Can you scoop this? Okay, watch, watch it. Okay. So we're gonna put some. This is your carpet. Look. So, so we're gonna put it on China. here. She's trying to. Okay. So I'm gonna scoop it. And then you're gonna take the spoon hey, and help me, okay? So I want you to spread right here, okay? All right. Oh wow, you're doing amazing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna help you a little bit more because I gotta get this part off. Okay. And these are called tamales. Can you say tamales? Hello. Tamales. I don't like tamales. You don't? How do you know? Yes, I do. Okay. Here, now you're gonna spread it. Sticky. Just spread it across. Wow, you were so good at this. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I want you to take these and we're going to tear them. Guys, thank y'all for watching. Made it home, safe and sound. Uh, my wife's uh, stepmom came to visit. Um, she'll be here all weekend. I'm going to learn how to make tamales. Tamales, I'm going to say tamales, but tamales, however they pronounce it. Uh, she's from, uh, she's Mexican, from Mexico. And so uh, she lives in Austin, Texas right now. She's actually a, a professor at a school for like audiology, stuff with the ear, stuff like that, but anyway. But um, spending some family time here. She'll be here all weekend. I should be standing upstairs. But uh, just sharing stories, you know, childhood stories from Laura, that I said that I didn't know about. Um, just with her youth and stuff, you know how that goes. But I uh, was learning you know, about the Mexican culture, learning about uh, my wife's dad is a Colombian, so learning about the Colombian culture, Mexican culture, the difference between the two, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that, you know, a lot of us Americans are um, ignorant to, or naive, you know, with that knowledge. So, anyway, so yeah, she'll be here all weekend. But, uh, but yeah, so anyway, um, Blue Classic coming soon. Freightliner. Um, we're just trying to figure out when we're going to get it, how we're going to get it, because we want to do everything right. And I don't want to drive that truck all the way down here deadheading. I would rather have the, the truck already leased on to Landstar, ready to go. So where all we got to do is just hook up to a trailer and book a load back home. 
and I want to do the same thing with the FLD so I can book a load to Florida. Even though Florida um, 10 4 insurance is paying for the fuel and everything, I still rather book a load going out there rather than get it all the way out there. But still trying to get everything figured out. Worst case scenario, I probably just drive the FLD to Florida's finest customs, dead head out there, fly up to Jersey, grab the classic, and have it ready to go and book a load on home. So I don't know, but that's what we're thinking. So, guys. Thank you all for watching. My name is Shimon Spencer. You just tuned into another episode of Grinding Gears. I'm going to catch you guys at noon 01 Central Standard Time tomorrow.